Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? Well, thank you and welcome you to the White House. I can think of no one that I would rather visit here with whom. This white mansion and the gleaming marble monuments that we have of those who went before. Seeing you today and knowing of the energy and dedication you bring to the American volunteer spirit, I know our nation will only become struggle times. But you may not be aware that volunteering is an old American. A strong cooperative community spirit is the heart and soul of our democracy that American spirit. I sat here at dinner one night, a program bill, and this person said, well, yes, you can here in America. And I was kind of curious. And then what she was frankly admitting was that not in very many places in the world but this one, even greater and more dramatic results. My challenge to you young people here today if we can start those fairs in cities and towns across America, the moment Now, I hope that praise and recognition for all our young vo volunteers will be a byproduct of this meeting today. And uh, they're pretty easily identified. Yeah. But I would, many of you young people have written letters to me about your volunteer experiences. Far exceeds the amount of my weekly paycheck from my job at Super Duper Markets. The satisfaction that I receive as a volunteer is a most rewarding experience, and I feel that if I have any help to them, which I feel I am, I would have served to help my country and the world. You know, I have to tell you just a little, I'll tell you TV stations from the community were down there getting this, and it was two o'clock in the morning. I'm still watching TV because they were getting this, and you were seeing damage that was being done, but you were seeing the volunteers working throughout the night. Thank you for coming here today for lifting my spirits. And I'm sure my spirits will be lifted even more after I read the additional letters from the volume in which I understand, or the volunteers which I understand you have for me today. I thank you for the These volunteers, we're presenting you with letters and thoughts on the importance of volunteerism. Thank you very much. staff know this is true. I'll read them, every one. I thank you very much for this, and now if we do for a few minutes, have a little time, and someone wants to ask a question, you do, fire away. It's America, and today will it spread. Now, can you take care of it? You carry the dignity of your administration out, and then able it to spread in my volunteer work. Well, I thank you very much for saying that we have it. <laughs> but I think it is carrying on what you do, because as dignity is concerned, that goes with what we have the most of of any country in the world. <laughs> and there's a difference, I mean, maybe this isn't true of all of them, but let me just tell you, one great difference that spells out just what you're talking about in which go, says to the government, these are the only things you can do. And if they aren't in here, you can't do them. And it's very unique. Red Cross volunteer from New York. I was wondering if you could give us just one message for all of us here to bring back to our community to help us promote volunteer. Just one short, simple message. Oh my. <laughs> trying to get so many pages. <laughs> uh, well, yes. It is that there is, that these volunteer efforts, and they cross the street and talk to a neighbor about it, and the first thing you know, a committee is. Uh, my name is Ramona Vega from Denver, Colorado, the voice of folks in Denver. And I was wondering, we've been talking about volunteerism and everything like this, but I want to know exactly what have you done in terms of volunteer work over, over your life? And I was wondering, what exactly has it meant personally to you? We're a member of our guild, the Screen Actors Guild, for some 25 years, six times its president. One of the leading businesses of America and President of California. And I know that you have a lot of goals and dreams for our country. Is there one goal that we, as you volunteers, can help to accomplish? And the things that can be done, and that 
don't call for a gigantic bureaucracy or a government program because those somehow growing up, the, the things that we heard about when World War I, when World War II ended, and it looked like maybe we could have been in generous deeds. In fact, he said they had, we had a genius for those deeds. Well, by the Thank you. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Nice to see you. 